Here's how to transfer video from iPhone to PC and back from PC to your iPhone or iPad. We're gonna take you through the latest and easiest video transfer methods so that you can find the option that works best for you. Now, because there's so many different ways that you can do this, I've broken this down into four sections. The first will be using the cable. The second is over Wi-Fi. The third is using some sort of external storage. And the fourth is transferring your files over the internet. Now, I strongly recommend that you stick around to hear out all the options so that you're leaving here with the best one for you and for your use case. One last thing before we jump into it, there is a setting on your phone that you do want to be aware of. So go ahead and open up settings on your phone, then come down to photos, and then right down the bottom here where it says transfer to Mac or PC, we've got the option here to transfer our original files, so keep originals, or we can have our phone during a transfer automatically convert our file to a more compatible file type if it thinks it's necessary. So if you do find you're transferring your files and things are changing or that things aren't compatible on your computer, then you can come in here and you can adjust that setting. For me personally, I just leave this on originals. So first up now, we're gonna transfer our files using the cable. So you wanna go ahead and connect your phone to your computer using a USB cable. Usually at this point on your phone, you will get something pop up, either asking you to trust the device or allowing you to share your files and folders and things. So we wanna hit allow or trust. And then over here on the computer, straight away, you can see that this has popped up. It already says Apple iPhone, and we have our internal storage there that we can access. Now, if you're not seeing that, then you can go ahead and open up an Explorer window. You can scroll down on the side here until you see Apple iPhone, and then you will see what we're seeing here. So if we double click on this, then we see a bunch of folders in here. Now these are actually dates, so we can see 2023, 10. These ones are recent at the time of shooting this. So for instance, if I open up this recent folder here, in it we can see we've got our photos and we've got videos that were taken in this month. So to transfer them from here to our computer, we can literally just drag and drop them. So if we want this video file here, I can drag that onto my desktop. It's gonna go ahead and copy that for us. And then that file is over on our computer. So we could open this up now and we can play back that video. So the process works exactly the same for photos as well. Let's grab this image, drag it to the desktop, and we can then go ahead and open it up because this file is on our computer. So this first method though is only gonna allow us to get stuff off our phone. If you see, if we try to drag this file here back to our phone, it's not gonna let us actually drop that there. It's not going to copy it. The next option is to use iTunes. Yes, this is still a thing. If you're on Windows, you can go ahead and download the latest version from the Microsoft Store. Once it's installed, you wanna go ahead and open it up and then again, connect your computer to your phone using a cable. Table. And we get a pop-up here. Do you want to allow this computer to access Justin's phone? We'll hit continue. And then after a few seconds, you'll have this little icon here show up. If we press on that, that's going to allow us to access our phone. From there, we want to come over here on the left to file sharing. And then we can see some of the apps that we've got installed that will allow us to transfer files through those apps, essentially. So in this case here, I'm just gonna pick Google Chrome as our app to transfer files. I can then go ahead and grab my file, say these two clips again, and I'm gonna drag them into this area here. We can then see that these are copying these files over to our device. So then back on your phone to access these files, we wanna open up files. We can then choose on my phone. Let's open up the Chrome folder here because this is where we transferred those files to and we can see straight away that those files are there. So from here, we can transfer them to other areas on our phone using the files app or we can save them to our photos area of our phone too. If we just press on one of them, we can then press the share button down the bottom left and we can choose save image. We can then go done. Likewise with the next one, if I wanna save that back to my photos, I can press share, come down here to save video. And if we go ahead and open up photos now, we can see the two most recent clips there are the two that we just transferred. Now this works exactly the same back the other way as well. I'm gonna hit select here. I'm gonna pick two files, this one and this one. I'm gonna choose share. Then I'm gonna scroll down here, but this time I'm gonna pick save to files. It's then gonna ask me where I wanna save them. So I can go back out of this now and I can choose that Chrome folder and I can hit save. And then back over on the desktop, we can see that we've now got those extra files here as well. So I can just select those. I can hold down control to select multiple clips and I can just drag those back out to my desktop. And we can see now those clips are now back on our computer. 
So those are some great options for using your cable. But what if we want to use wireless? Well, this method I just showed you will actually work over Wi-Fi as well. We have the option up here under summary to also connect to your phone over Wi-Fi. So we can apply that setting there, follow the exact same process, and we're then cable free. But there's also two other methods over Wi-Fi that I wanna show you as well. The first method is using the free app on your device, VLC Media Player. It's so much more than just a media player. It's also an awesome, easy way for you to transfer your files to. So you wanna go ahead and install the app on your device. And when you open it up, you wanna make sure that you're on the network option down the bottom. From there, you can turn on the option here, sharing via Wi-Fi. And then straight away there, it's given you a web address. This is your local IP. IP address, don't worry, this isn't a public IP address, that you can then type into any of your computers or other devices that are on the same Wi-Fi network. So back on our desktop here, if we now type in that address, and that brings us to this page here. Let me make it a little bit smaller here because on this page, we can drag and drop files here and they're going to transfer to our device. So I can grab this video clip here again and drop it up here into where it says drop files. And we can see that that transfer is happening. So this is totally wireless. In a lot of cases, you might find that this might not be as quick as using the cable, but it also depends on what it is you're transferring. So now that that transfer has happened back on our phone, again, we can open up the files app. We can choose on my phone. We can navigate down to that VLC folder. Again, that file is there. Now, one thing to note is if you do just tap on that file there, it is gonna open it in VLC. So in order to save it to your photos or to move it around from there, let's go back to the files app. We wanna long press on it and then come down here to share, and then we can save the video from there. So it's just an extra step. But we also have the ability to transfer files back the other way from here too. So if we go back to our photos app here on my device, let's come up here and pick a different video, maybe this one here. I'll then choose share. We're going to choose save to files. Let's go back to on my phone. Let's scroll down here. And this time we're gonna pick the VLC folder. Now when I hit save on here, we come back over to the computer. We can refresh that page and we've got our video file down here. We've actually got both of them that we can access from here from our device. So if I just click on that as if I'm gonna play it, that's gonna start downloading that file to our computer again over Wi-Fi. And then we can open that file up to show you that that transfer has happened. Now there is one more method if you do have a compatible computer. So you need to be running Windows 11, you do need to have an Intel CPU and that's using a tool called Intel Unison. So this is something, again, if you've got a compatible computer that you can install from the Microsoft Store. Unfortunately, it's telling me that my computer is not supported here, so I can't show you this. But essentially what it does is create a wireless link between your computer and your iOS or your Android device where you can not only transfer files wirelessly, but you can also remotely control and manage your device as well. So if your computer meets those requirements, then this could be a good option for you as well. The next option is using external storage. Now, depending on which phone you've got, you've got a couple of different methods here as well. If you've got a phone with the lightning connector, you can grab a little adapter like this one, which is a lightning to SD card adapter. You can also get lightning to USB if you wanna use a USB memory stick or a portable hard drive, or if you've got one of the newer iPhone 15s, then you can plug in directly a USB-C drive. But the idea here is we're gonna transfer files to and from our phone using some sort of external drive or memory card. So I've got an SD card here. I'm gonna put it into the adapter. I'm then gonna plug the adapter into the phone. I'm then gonna open up the Photos app. I'm gonna navigate through to find the files that we wanna transfer. Maybe this time I'll pick these three. I'll then hit Share. We're going to choose Save to Files. This time, instead of on my iPhone, we wanna go back at the top there, back to Browse. And we wanna choose the external drive, which in this case here, it's called Lumix. And then I wanna hit Save. So we can see that that transfer is happening really quick and it's done. From there, we can take that SD card out and we can put it into our computer. So then over on the computer, we can open up that SD card and we can see we've got our three files there on it. From there, we can drag and drop, we can copy and paste, transfer our files. And again, this also works back the other way as well. Let me grab these three files here. Let's drop them on here. We can then inject that card or that storage 
put it back into our phone, go back to where we can see our drive here. Again, this one's called Lumix, and we can now see that those other files are on there. From there, we can follow the same process that we have previously to save those files to our device. So select them, hit share, and choose save video. The other option that you've got for transferring your files is over the internet using some sort of cloud-based service. And hey, there's one already built into your iPhone called iCloud. So in this case here again, we either wanna find the photos, videos, or any files that we wanna transfer from our device. So either from the photos app or direct from the files app, we wanna then select that file. So I'm gonna pick this one here. I'm then gonna hit share down the bottom left-hand corner. I'm gonna scroll down to save to files. And this time I wanna pick iCloud Drive. Now it is a good idea if you are gonna be transferring a lot of files back and forth this way, that maybe you create a folder in here called transfer, just so everything is easy to find. So we can press the three little dots at the top. I can choose new folder. Let's call this one transfer. I can press done. That opens the folder for us. And then we hit save to save this file in there. So our file then at this point is currently been uploaded to iCloud itself. And then to access this on the computer, we can log into our iCloud account. So we can just head to the website iCloud.com. We can choose sign in. And when you're logged in, this is what you'll see. You've got access to your iCloud drive right at the top here. We can also see our recent files and things here too, but I'm gonna click here to open up our drive. We can then come over here to browse. And if we look down here, here is our folder transfer. We can open that up and here is our file inside of that folder. So we can then download this by hitting the three little dots on the side and choose download a copy. That download happens, we can open that file up and here is the file from our iPhone. Now we also again have the ability here to transfer back the other way. So we can hit the little upload button here as well. We can navigate through, find the files that we want to upload. Let's pick this file here, let's choose open. We can see that the upload is happening. And the moment that that's done, we're able to access that straight away on our devices. So we open up files, make sure that we are on iCloud Drive. Let's scroll down here to our transfer file and we can now see our second video clip in there too. So I can long press on this and I can choose download now. I can save it to photos if I'd like to. I can put it anywhere I need to on my device. Now, if this is a workflow that you are gonna be using a lot, then you can actually install the iCloud for Windows app. And that way your iCloud account will just show up as essentially like another folder on your desktop where you can drag and drop stuff and know that you're transferring them to the cloud. Now, if iCloud's not your thing, or maybe you've hit your storage limits of what's included with your iPhone, then you can use other services like Dropbox or Google Drive or other cloud services out there as well with almost the exact same process. But the biggest thing to be aware of if you are using the internet to transfer your files is that the experience or the speed is only going to be as good as your internet connection. So if you've got really slow internet, then the transfer speeds are going to be slow too. Now that you know how to transfer your files between your iPhone and your computer and back the other way, if you'd like to know how to edit your videos directly on your iPhone and get amazing results, then check out the video linked on screen. As always, check out the description box below. We've got a bunch of other tools and resources down there to help you, and I will see you in the next video.